Welcome back to <laughs> the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun doing that. All right, so the T5 to DOA swap, AOD, yes, I know it's an AOD, thank you, is done. So gonna get it out, do some driving impressions, kind of tell you guys what I think of it. Now, for all you guys in the comments saying, why in the hell would you do that? It's for my wife. Okay, I would know I wouldn't do this if you know this wasn't for her so she wasn't comfortable in traffic and in other places driving the five speed so we put an auto in it in hopes that she drives it um, which she has already which is a good thing but um, let's get the car out and uh, kind of give you my driving impressions what I think and I'll be honest it's not as bad as I thought all right, guys, couple quick notes. We did not half-ass this. Um, this has the actual pedal assembly from an auto in it, which is great. I didn't just tuck the pedal, which I've done in the past. Um, shifter is mounted properly using a floor section out of a convertible. Now, one thing I'll recommend, we measured twice and cut once. When I went to put the console back in, we were a hair up forward and we were a hair up elevation wise so we thought we had it exactly right it proved to be off a little bit which wasn't a big deal um, we moved the shifter back and then we had to trim this bezel to get exactly right but definitely if you're doing this measure twice cut once make sure you've got your shifter right because the console will not go back in uh, the way it's supposed to if you don't that makes a big problem another cool thing the light that lights up uh, the shift selector um, obviously being a five-speed car it didn't have it but uh, there was a harness underneath here and it was actually taped up the plug and all we got the light and the pigtail from another automatic car but the plug was there had power everything so I just cut the tape on it ran it up here so we have light good deal um got the automatic pcm in it so that's good a9p pcm and we also swapped the o2 harness from uh the automatic car so the car is completely done 100 percent the right way um there's no way you can tell it was a five-speed car other than where you can see where we weld and then put a uh, sound dampener over uh where the shifter mounted so it is a true automatic we didn't half-ass it it's good to go. All right. How much do I hate it? Not as bad as I thought. Now, this car does have 373s already. Um, it does have the GT40 heads. I mean, it's, it's not stock, which is a good thing. So it doesn't suck near as bad as I thought. So let me just pull out here give you a little little hit see what it does it's a total dog out of the hood out of the hit which you know was to be expected but the gears really help it um, build speed pretty quick which I was pleasantly surprised at. The trans shifts amazing. Um, it upshifts, it downshifts, it just kind of does its thing, uh, which I was really happy with. Uh, so far, I've been pleasantly surprised by the auto. Now you guys know that back in the day for the OG Fox body guys, essentially an automatic car was a deal breaker. Like if you were looking to buy one, I know for me personally, if it wasn't a five speed, I wasn't interested. Let's hit it a little bit and see what you do. <laughs> the gears make all the difference, guys. They really do. Um, it's not a total turd, I'll say that. Um, the other thing I will say is it was kind of nice just throwing it in drive, turning the air on, and driving it home from the shop the other day. Um, I don't know. It, 
it was all right. I'll say that. And I had very low expectations when we put this thing in here. But overall, it's not horrible. Just cruising around, like I said, it's nice. I mean, the it, trans is really smooth. It doesn't do any funky shifting or anything. Um, wife got it out the other night and she was really excited. I was just like, eh, whatever. Again, this not something I would have done. Ugh. But now that it's done, I don't hate it like I thought I would hate it. All right, so this is my first real time out in the car since we did the swap. Uh, let's see if it'll actually just stab in it. Will it spin the tires from a dig? accelerates decent once it's going um, if it had more gear if it had a converter in it um, maybe it'd be a little better but it, it's it's a total slug out of the hole which most AOD boxes are so I will say it's really odd really odd having the automatic shifter in the car it I, I still get in the car and my foot goes for the clutch pedal and it's not there but um and it yeah it needs a bath bad it's freaking filthy it got rain on the way home but i mean overall um if it had a built trans with a shift kit uh a converter it would probably be a lot more fun but i will say um compared to what i was thinking it's not as bad as i thought so and also the wife will drive it now and uh it'll do more than just collect dust so i will definitely say that the difference between automatic transmissions then and now is a huge difference like the the 10 speed in my truck and um like the 6r80s the 10 speed that's going in my car um it's totally totally different ball game i mean they shift so fast it's so crisp and they're geared to keep the engine and the power band which makes a massive difference but again this car is not for going fast it's not for going to the drag strip it's for cruising and enjoying and so we did it and like i said it, it's still kind of weird not having a clutch pedal to grab onto when uh, when i get in the car but i think the car will get more use um we do have the uh gt40 tubular intake uh, being powder coated so that'll go on there maybe that'll uh, add a little bit it ain't gonna add much but it'll add a little bit and it'll add a definite cool factor to pop's car so more stuff coming for pop's car auto swap is done um, everything works great i mean we hit the key as soon as we were pretty well done with everything and it just kind of went down the road without any hiccups or issues which is a great thing so there you go guys Pops car is an auto. Still not sure how I feel about it, but I definitely feel better than I did going in. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, big thumbs up. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next one.